So I've finally got my hands on one of these Google AIY voice kits, uh, which is a, an add-on to a Raspberry Pi. I originally became aware of these when um, Magpie magazine um, put these um, on the front cover for free. And of course, that was at the point that I wasn't uh, subscribed to them. There's a thing. Always be subscribed to Magpie because they give you really good free stuff. So then after a while they um, have released these several times and I've always missed it um, when I've when they've released some new versions of it or new uh, releases of it. Uh, finally I, I managed to get one from Pi Hut. So here it is. So it's very similar to a Google Cardboard in a way, apart from Google Cardboard was completely passive. So nice little book full of instructions which are of course online anyway. Um, here's the box which uh, the module goes in. Some wires and switches. I believe this is a microphone board. Um, this is a shield for the Pi. There's a speaker and and there's a button that triggers uh, your device. So <clears throat> I've got my Raspberry Pi here. Now this is my Pi that I normally use for setting up, um, connecting um, Pi Zeros to the Wi-Fi. I normally um, create the card and boot it in this machine where I can plug a, a monitor into it easily and a hub. So I'm going to use this for this project. Not sure whether I'm going to keep it in this project, but um, we'll do that anyway. So I'm probably just going to build this uh, in this video, um, build it and test it. And that'll be about it. And I probably won't talk too much while I'm building it. And I'll probably fast forward things, but uh, we'll see what happens. Of course, the first thing you, that you've got to do, well, not the first thing, it's interesting, it says this in the instructions, you start to download the distribution. So uh, you go to the AIY website, uh, which is here, and then you've got a link, if you scroll down a little bit on the instructions, where you can download the distro. And uh, then I'm going to use Etcher on my Mac just to write this to a card. And uh, this will take um, about five minutes to write the card but I'll fast forward it for you, so there you go. Okay, of course, because this is print, it's instantly out of date, um, and there's lots of blur in it. It's probably better to use uh, the instructions online, to be honest. They were quite uh, easy, so I'll probably uh, use those as opposed to this book. Okay, here you are. So the first thing it says is to put the little spacers onto the Pi. What do you get with it? You get some headers, some wires for the button. You get that switch that goes in there. That's probably for the microphone board, um, a device that probably makes the light light up. There's a little lamp and here's the spacers. So it wants me to put the spacers in. If you can hear water running in the background, it's because the heavens have opened where I live
Okay, that was that was simple. Uh, now it tells me to um, set this aside and start assembling the box, which might be a bit fiddly on camera, but we'll see. Um, find the larger cardboard piece with a bunch of holes. Fold along the creases. That's going to be quite easy. Fold four, fold two, so fold one. I love the way Google do things in cardboard and then it says made by you with Google. So cool. Uh, so fold one, fold two, fold three, fold four and push that in I imagine. Okay. It now says set this aside. And now build the frame. So a Raspberry Pi goes here. Right, they seem to go up. Fold the flaps, push out flaps up, maybe. Well, this one's a bit confusing. So I folded the flaps up, push that out that way, do I? Something like that. And I've got to push out that. Push out that as well. All right. Looks like I've got to fold that bit up. Ah, oh, here you go. This is better. So that goes like that. That goes there. And that goes down there. Oh, that looks right. Something like that. It says, at this point, the cardboard might not hold its shape. Yes. So now I need to put the speaker in. It says, which is already attached to my Pi. So this must have to go in here. Pushes in, okay, yeah. That pushes in and locks in. Slide the speaker into the U-shaped pocket, so yeah. Then the Pi goes there, I believe. Maybe the Pi goes the other way. Go the other way. Hang on. Yeah, so the pie goes that way. And then it looks like that pushes the pie down, then that's the back of it. Alright, we're there at the moment. It's now getting a bit messy, but oh well. Yeah, the USB ports on the pie should be exposed from the cardboard frame. Okay, that looks about right. Put it all together. It says, take the SD card out first before you do it. That's fine, I've not got mine in yet. So it looks like we go that far. This goes down there somehow. And then that assembly gets pushed into the box that way looking good so far right okay let's hold it all in so the speakers coming out through those holes that all looks all right and then we've got some of the other wires coming out here.
Right, excellent. So good so far. <clears throat> Check that your ports are aligned. Yes, mostly. Could have we been pushed down a little bit? Can I get to the SD card slot, wherever that is? Yes, that's there as well. Now I have to put the put this in. I'd rather have had a red button. Oh well, I'll probably got a red button somewhere I can swap. All right, so it looks like yeah, button spacer first. That must be the spacer. Spacer first. Well, I can't see the spacer, but on here, the nut goes directly against the cardboard, so we'll do that. And there's the spacer. All right. Now I'll connect the... Ah. This is where it all gets a bit... At no point did it tell me how to assemble this. Right, well let's assume then that that just goes in there. That's easy. I want this to be... Oh, it is an LED, I think. That's fine. That's an LED. Good. So then... This looks very much like... The buttons that go under arcade units so let's slip this into here there you go a little bit of something just flew off i think it's a little bit of flashing right that looks fine so this now somehow goes into here, looks like it goes in. Oh, it turns and locks in. All right, so that turns, somehow turns and locks and that'll push it. So there's two little lugs there and this bit looks like it should Turn in somehow. There you go. Right. Well, that wasn't fiddly at all. All right. So it says hook. Connect the wires in the positions indicated by the image. All right. Now the button that was supplied is completely different from the button that's supplied on there. Let's just check whether in the paper here, no, in the book here, it's a completely different one. So we don't know what is what here, which is a bit bad. And we have blue, red and black. Hmm. And it's completely different switch. Okay, we'll just have to go with it. Ah, here we go. Look, so there's some of them. So these ones are big and these ones are smaller. So looking at this, there you go. So these on the outside, these bigger ones will go to the light and we don't know which is positive and which is negative on th these cables one would assume that red is positive but we don't know what it is on the LED so we'll have to guess and we also don't know whether this is permanently on or permanently off so it will at least connect to that side which is the common and let's just assume for the moment we'll connect it to the top one there. Let's see what goes on. 
All right, then the final bit appears to be putting the mic board. Oh, and it says use double sided tape, which we don't get in the kit. So I'll have to find some of that. But the mic seems to go left and right there. So I'll just need to find something to stick this on. Trusty gaffer tape. I find having to stick tape on here disappointing. The rest of it is so well engineered. It's a pity I'm having to do this. Oh well. Right. Okay. I think that's it. Created now. So I line up the microphone bulb with the mics it tells me that now but i did thankfully and then it looks like all i now need to do is close the little thing all right And then I suppose power it up. So let's put the card in and continue. So I've prepared the SD card. It does say on the instructions that it is quite hard to get the SD card out of this. And a really good idea, it said, was to stick a bit of sellotape on it. Of course, I've not done that, but uh, anyway, there you go. So now I need to set it up and boot it. I won't show you the screen on this, um, but let's just get it powered up uh, to begin with and go from there. All right, so that's it wired up. I've got a monitor, mouse and keyboard and power going into it. So uh, let's boot it. But what's supposed to happen is once um, it boots and isn't configured, this top light should pulse. So I'll watch the Pi as it begins, watch the screen and see what happens next. So I've connected to the network and I'm not sure whether this light isn't flashing because um, I've wired it up wrong or because I've not run the test scripts yet. But this says once booted the small red LED in the centre of the hat and the LED inside of the arcade button should both indicate the device is running. So if I open this, what I'm hoping is that there is... It says an LED inside the hat. Now, I can't see an LED in there that's flashing, which is unfortunate. But what I'll check, let's um, connect this a different way and the other way around just to check whether that has part of it. Because if this is an LED, oh dear me. If this is an LED, it'll only wire in one way. All right, still not getting anything with that. All right, so can't do that. So one of them says that there's a script I can run to verify the audio input and output. So on the desktop, there's something that says check audio. So I'm going to run that script. Front, center, 
Okay, right. So that made me jump, but at least the speaker's working. Front, center. <laughs> um, says, did I hear the test sound? So I'm going to say yes. Then it says, when you're ready, press enter and say testing one, two, three. Here we go. Enter. Testing one, two, three. <laughs> well, now it just rebooted. I think that might be because I've run it twice. So uh, I'll have to do that again and see what happens. So it's still not working. Just done a few tests. I've got three volts now coming out of these probes. And if I connect it there, the light lights up, as you can see. However, if I put these probes back into here and I take the voltage that's supposed to be going to those lamps and test it there, um, I'm not getting any I'm not getting any voltage showing up there. So something is afoot. I know the um, board is working because the mic because the speaker works really loudly. So it's not outputting power like it should do. Uh, what I'm going to do is continue configuring this anyway and I'm going to um, set up all the Google thing on the system and then see what happens afterwards. I'll set up the API and everything, the, uh, get the, uh, the API key and then uh, take it from there. But it does worry me that it crashes when it tries to uh, play my voice back, which implies something is not right. might just be that I'm not pumping enough power into this because uh, the power is coming from my uh, bench power supply, which is only 0.5 of an amp. So uh, that might be causing the problem. In fact, the first thing I am going to try is uh, taking a wire that I use to power my Alexa in here and um, using that instead. Recording test. So press enter and say testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Okay, so it was definitely a power supply thing. But interestingly, I'm still not getting power coming from these two um, tabs that go to the light. So I might have to Google this and do it. But uh, I think the next thing I'll just do now is just set it all up, not worry about the light, and um, see where I go from there. So there wasn't a problem with this. I've established it, just a slight issue with the instructions. If I now connect the red and black um, to the terminals, whoops, <laughs> apart from the fact that I've just shorted it out and crashed it, but if I connect the red and black to the terminals now, I am getting a blinking light. And uh, the issue was that I needed all of the um, Google Assistant um api configured for it to do that so hopefully now once the machine reboots um i'm a bit bothered why it's not doing it now let's see if it's working okay google what's the time all right so i think i need to um start the um, console running on the server so there's a thing called start dev terminal and if I open that and paste in some special source which I'm now lost um, I paste in a special command then I can get it talking well, let's just I'll just find the command again so uh, looking from the uh, project guide I have to start this dev terminal and then I have to type in source slash assistant grpc demo dot python. So uh, hopefully when I paste that in and hit return, it should start the light going. There you go. So now the lights. Well, for a second it worked. OK, Google. What time is it? 
We'll get there in a minute. OK, Google, what's the time? <laughs> OK, Google, what's the time? It's 9.47. There you go. So, OK, Google, what's the weather going to be like tomorrow? Right, so what you have to do is to make sure it's listening, you have to hit the uh, button first. So, what's the weather going to be like tomorrow? It looks like... It'll a... be partly cloudy in Bletchley tomorrow with a high of 49 and a low of 35. She's very loud. Okay, yeah, so it only listens when you actually hit the button. But anyway, quite successful. Now I've got to find some application for it.